Kaltoff and welcome to a Stamping to Share video. Today I'm going to share with you this cute little chick card and I just love it. It has a very nice little chicken wire background. I'm going to show you how to stamp with your honeycomb embossing folder to make that. And then the stamp set we're using is called Honeycomb Happiness and it's very sweet and it's something that you can get free. When you place a $50 order, you can pick this as one of your free items from our celebration. That goes through March 31st of 2016. And so I just love celebration time because it's always fun to get something for free. And you know you're going to order stamps and ink and paper anyway. So it's a good time to stock up on some of those things. So let's go ahead and create this card. You'll notice that the chick, well maybe you can't really tell, but hopefully you can. This has the wink of Stella on it and it's just so cute and very quick and easy to create. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the, with a piece of basic black cardstock. I've cut it at 4 and 1 fourth by 11 inches and then I've gone ahead and scored it at 5 and a half. So I'm just going to take my bone folder, I'll fold it along the score line, give it a little press, that way it will lie flat for us. And then we're going to open it up and we're going to finish off the inside panel right away. So for the inside panel, I have a piece of very vanilla paper. This is 4 by 5 and 1 fourth. And then on the inside, I've gone ahead and I've just put a half inch strip of paper. This is uh, from the paper pack called Going Places. It's a 6 by 6 paper pack and it's just a little strip that's the same color as the outside of the card. It's, it's our delightful Dijon. So any little strip of paper just to add some interest to the inside panel of the card will work. I'm going to use some snail along the top panel here and we'll just set this right in on our card so that all four borders are nice and equal. Then we'll go ahead and set this aside for a minute. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some stamping. This is a piece of delightful Dijon. This is four by five and one fourth. And we are going to actually stamp this with an embossing folder. So here's the embossing folder and it's our honeycomb embossing folder. Now there's two sides to every embossing folder. There's the indented side. You can kind of feel that because it's all flat. And then there's the side that creates the indents when you emboss. And that would be this side, the popped up side. So I'm going to use some, some black ink. This is our tuxedo black. When you, use, when you create with this technique, you want to make sure you're using a black ink or actually any color of ink that you use. You want to make sure it's not permanent. And so this is a non-permanent ink. Let me grab a piece of scrap paper here. And that means that I'll be able to just run it under the faucet and all of the ink will just come off the embossing folder and it will be just like how it was when you started with it. So I'm just going to put this ink all over this popped up portion of the embossing folder. And again, make sure you use a black ink that, that is not permanent. Then I'm going to take that four by five and a quarter inch piece of, of delightful Dijon I'm just going to set this in. Actually, I think I'll put it over here. Then all I have to do is flip this over. And then I'll use, um, this is a little chick. See, that's what we're going to stamp on another piece of paper in a minute. But we are just going to use this for right now as kind of an iron where you just press, press on it all along. And that way, all of the ink from the embossing folder is going to transfer onto your cardstock nice and evenly. And it looks like I need to press a little harder. Either that or my ink pad wasn't terribly um, wet. But we'll see if pressing a little harder gives us a little bit better image. Oh yes, this looks much nicer. So let me go ahead and take this off. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and rinse out my, my embossing folders so that I don't accidentally make a mess. And that gives this just a little bit more time to dry. So I'll be right back. So we're going to set this aside for just a minute. And I'm going to show you how to create this square. So as you notice, this square has scallops all the way around. And this is how I created it. I started out with a piece of very vanilla paper cut at three and a half inches square. Then what I did is I took my Big Shot machine, let me get it into the, into the camera here, and I have my magnetic plate, I've got a couple of shims, then I have my cut plate, 
Then I take my three and a half inch square piece of very vanilla and I'm going to set this square scallop from our squares collection framelits. I'm going to put the cut plate on over the top and I'm going to run this through my big shot. Then what I can do is I can just remove this, possibly. I'll use my my handy dandy paper piercer. And then what I do is I just turn this and I just emboss on this side. And what I'm trying to do is line this up so that we have a nice looking corner on each side. So I'll just put my cut plate over the top and we'll run it through. And then we should have a pretty good looking scallop square. So it will look just like this. And that's what we're going to use as one of the layers behind our chick. So let's go ahead and we're going to take some basic black stitch satin ribbon. I'm just going to use my ribbon scissors here and cut a little bit off. Then I'm going to use two pieces of scotch tape and I'll secure this around, oh, probably about an inch above from the bottom. So I'll just go ahead and secure that one here and then we'll secure this one on this side. The next step is to layer our scallop square. So I'm just going to take uh, some snail and we're just going to set this right over here so that all three sides are nice and even. Perfect. The next thing we're going to do is stamp our chick. So our chick is stamped on a two and three fourths inch square of So Saffron. And I'm just going to ink him up again with the ink that I was using. So this is our Tuxedo Black Memento ink and we'll just stamp him right in the center. And then I have a pumpkin pie marker and I'm just going to marker in the beak and the feet. While I'm giving this ink just a little more time to dry, I'm going to bring in a scrap piece of very vanilla paper. I'm going to ink up my sentiment, which is, oh, hello. I'm just going to stamp this right here on the scrap. Then I'm going to use my washi label punch, and that looks like this. I'm going to flip it over and center that sentiment right in there and give that a little punch. And I can go ahead and get that ready with some dimensionals. I only need a dimensional on this side. The other side is going to get a glue dot when the time comes. So I'm going to set this aside and bring our little chick back into focus. So the next thing to do with our chick is to paint Wink of Stella on our chick. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to cover this whole chick in Wink of Stella. And look at how cute he is. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a little more layering. So the next layer is a 2 and 7 eighths inch square of Delightful Dijon. This is 1 8 inch larger than our chick is stamped on. So we're just going to take some snail again and put this right over the top of our Delightful Dijon. And we'll just make sure that all those borders are nice and even. And then we can just put this on dimensionals. And as you can see, I did five dimensionals, and we're just going to add this chick right into the center of that scallop square. Then we'll add our sentiment. I'm going to add a I'm going to add a little glue dot on this side. And that glue dot will kind of help secure this sentiment just in case the ribbon is a little bit loose. 
And then it's time to add the entire panel to the front of our card. So we can go ahead and again we'll just use snail all over our panel. Now you could also use multi-purpose liquid glue, but it happens that today my snail is quite handy, so I'm going to just go ahead and keep using the snail. And our card is complete. So here is the card I've just done for you. Here's the card I had done in advance. And I truly thank you for stopping by. I truly appreciate you. If you need a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, be sure to visit my blog at www.stampingtoshare.com. Have a great day and a great celebration. Bye-bye.